I expect you remember now how I talked about this when I was with you. You will probably also remember how I used to talk about a restraining power which would operate until the time should come for the emergence of this Antichrist. Evil is already insidiously at work, but its activities are restricted until what I have called the restraining power of the Holy Spirit is removed. When that happens, the Antichrist will be plainly seen. Though the truth of the Lord Jesus spells his doom, and the radiance of the coming of the Lord Jesus will be his utter destruction. Hello and welcome to this edition of Imminent Futures. And today I want to talk to you about a subject I'm really reluctant to share, but in the light of recent events since 2020, I believe I must. In the mid-1980s, I had what I can only describe now as an open vision. What is an open vision? These visions are often considered revelations from God, providing guidance, warnings, or deeper spiritual understanding. You are not just shown something, you become part of it. We must take care that we do not neglect heavenly monitions. Through fear of being considered visionary, we must not be staggered even by the dread of being styled fanatical or out of our minds. For to stifle a thought from God is no small sin. Only time will prove whether I really did have a vision of the future or leave it entirely up to speculation. I was getting ready to collect my daughter from school. I walked to the TV to switch it off. Little did I know that this routine act would transform into a surreal experience. Suddenly on the TV, the President of the United States made a startling announcement. The time had come to put an end to all the speculation. Extraterrestrials are now living among us. My immediate impulse was to share this monumental revelation with a trusted friend. Urgently, I implored her to quickly turn on the BBC News. By the time she switched on her TV, the broadcast had ended. I checked the 6pm news and the 10pm news and the following morning. None of the news channels were covering it. Nothing. The next day, I rang my friend again. She said I hadn't rung her at all the previous day. Discussions of UFOs were relegated to the fringes of society, spoken of only in hushed tones by those dismissed as crackpots. Going back to the 80s, the term conspiracy theory hadn't even been invented. Had I been blessed with a prophecy and seen a future event that maybe one day there would indeed be an announcement of such a thing? A phenomena that was happening all around the world was the increased sightings of UFOs as to almost confirm that what I was seeing was true was a precursor to this because the President of the United States was Ronald Reagan who gave a very strange speech. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. President Reagan uh, suddenly said to me, oh, what would you do if the United States were attacked by someone from outer space? Would you help us? I said, no doubt about it. And I would immediately race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs. Yeah. And I go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? The, the aliens won't list. let it happen. <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, you they, they exercise strict control over us. Did you look? Did you see? Did you explore? I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. (laughs) 
from the infamous Roswell incident to sacred projects like Project Blue Book, evidence points to a concerted effort to keep the public in the dark. Are manipulating the governments of the world, convincing the world that they are extraterrestrials when they are actually fallen entities. What is a fallen entity? A fallen being was an entity that was once aligned with divine order or goodness, but has rebelled or fallen from grace. The most well-known example is Lucifer. Those who followed him in rebellion took on more darker or more grotesque appearances in their state of spiritual decay. The fallen angels became demons and therefore work against the Almighty God and Jesus Christ, fooling the world, spreading chaos and evil, actively seeking to disrupt everything that's honourable and good. Are aliens and UFOs demonic? Astrophysicist reveals why UFO claims aren't what they seem. But suddenly, in 2020, the Pentagon announced on the news that there was a report of unidentified aerial phenomena and named it as the Pentagon UFO Report. But this time, it really was all over the news. It was a worldwide announcement and couldn't be denied. But was this only a partial disclosure, awaiting the big announcement that I saw in my vision? The head of the Pentagon's UFO office is retiring days after admitting there could be some truth in a whistleblower's shocking claims that the US government is hiding evidence of aliens. The disclosure when it came was a riveting moment of official hearings. Military witnesses stood before the nation. We were primarily seeing dark gray or black cubes inside of a clear sphere. For more than 20 years, that project had treated unidentified anomalies in our airspace as a national security threat to be monitored and investigated. So when I saw in my vision the ultimate announcement that aliens are actually among us, it will not now be a surprise. I've got one that can see. I was just an ordinary housewife and mother. You see, I've never believed that they are extraterrestrials at all, but rather interdimensional spirit beings. Men's hearts failing from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Okay, we're going to get into the topic today of ultimate disclosure. Let's go back to the German Nazi scientist Werner von Braun who was brought over from Germany after the war to America under Operation Paperclip and headed up NASA rocketry. He made the bold statement that aliens will be the last card. Christians faced with the unknown find themselves on the cusp of a shift of consciousness. The echoes of my moment in 1988 still resonates as I anticipate the fulfillment of my vision will happen soon. Should we be prepared for such an announcement? Will it come after Jesus Christ has taken his believers off the earth? Which is a close-up of a craft, so close that you can see the occupants. This is 100% genuine footage. What does the Bible say? And I saw three loathsome spirit like frogs leaping from the mouth of the dragon, Satan, and from the mouth of the beast, Antichrist, Dictator, and from the mouth of the false prophet. These go out to deceive the whole world. You will probably also remember how I used to talk about a restraining power which would operate until the time should come for the emergence of this, the Antichrist. Evil is already insidiously at work, but its activities are restricted until what I have called the restraining power of the Holy Spirit is removed. A historical event has just happened in the Middle East. Hamas, Hezbollah, Houthis and others have been virtually annihilated and must of necessity lead up to some sort of 
peace in the Middle East. It will, I believe, be an uneasy peace, but will pave the way for the next great event on the prophetic calendar. That event is called the Gog Magog War, found in Ezekiel chapter 38. Believers in prophecy have been anticipating this event that will possibly usher in the coming of this antichrist figure who will have nothing to oppose him. But before that happens, many believe that the rapture of the church will happen. The Jews will recognize Jesus Christ as their Messiah and, and the temple in Israel will be rebuilt, headed up by this Antichrist. As already planned, a mass hoax UFO invasion and the disappearance of millions of people will be explained away. And now is the time to prepare for the return of these aliens to dominate the rest of the planet when in fact they will be fighting against Jesus Christ when he returns. This will be the start of the seven year Great Tribulation, otherwise known as Jacob's Trouble, when the newly converted Jews will evangelize the world for their Messiah Jesus Christ and wait for him to return at Armageddon with the saints. The Antichrist will be plainly seen through the truth of the Lord Jesus who spells his doom. The lawless man is produced by the spirit of evil and armed with all the force, wonders and signs that falsehood can devise. To those involved in this dying world, he will come with evil's undiluted power to deceive, for they have refused to love the truth which could have saved them. God sends upon them, therefore, the full force of evil's delusion, so that they put their faith in an utter fraud and meet the inevitable judgment of all who have refused to believe the truth and who have made evil their playfellow. I take comfort in knowing that Jesus Christ will return to earth and with one word annihilate every enemy that will stand against him. Choose Jesus as your saviour today for tomorrow may be too late. Thank you for watching. Please share, like and subscribe if you think any of this could possibly be true. And until the next time, bye for now.